Introduction, take one. Hüvarere. That's Langschlafer in German. It doesn't help. A late sleeper. Ah. I think we talk about phonetics and how words come about. Yeah. The worst sound I've ever had to learn is that sound. Hü in Swedish. In English, when I learned English in Sweden, I couldn't say da, so I had to go da, but there's no way to go hu. Yeah, hu. <laughs> That's awful. And the proverb, you remember it now? Uh, no cows on the ice. But in Swedish. No. I remember Eason, that's all uh, I remember. Ingen Kupoisen. Cool, that's all I remember is Eason. Right. I'm ready. Take a look, folks. It's getting there. So, Pops wasn't here last weekend, so I did a little bit of work on the car, so you can see if Pops will step out of the way. Uh, I went, Always get lost. I went down the side of the car here with the number one compound, and it looks pretty. And there's still a little bit of haze in it, so there's, there's still more work to do. Um, but it looks pretty nice. Uh, so this this is pretty close to good. Um, so what we're finding is these vertical surfaces really don't have that many scratches in them. So it, it buffs out pretty easily. Um, but the hood and the roof, hopefully, again, you can see all these scratches in there. Um, seems like when I zoom in like this on my finger, it makes it easier to see them. There we go. I think you see all those scratches there. Um, so the number one compound wasn't really doing a very good job of getting those out. So I got some new stuff. Um, we were running out of 36060. So, I, sorry, 39060. Um, and I thought that's what I bought, but I ended up buying 36060, which is Perfected EX, which I gather is extra cut. So this stuff hopefully works a little better than that stuff in terms of getting the scratches out. So I got that. Um, and then I also bought this Meguiar's um, correction compound, which is designed for their DA system, which is this guy. So we're going to try that first, see how that works. So this is a, using the DA. now. This is designed to use the like the big handheld electric dual action sanders, which I don't have, but we're gonna try the little pneumatic one and see if that works. But anyway, we're gonna give that a try and see how it goes. Yeah? Why did you get the XE water spraying bottle? I did not. You did not? Well, we don't need to. There's no water here. We're done sanding. That's what you did. Yeah, we're done. All right. There's no more sanding. Okay. As far as I know. Um, and we've got some goodies that came in, so. There's our sewing machine. Yay! Um, I started getting some stereo equipment. Some speakers. I'll go over this stuff later. Um, and then we got all kinds of sewing stuff. So we got sew foam back here. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Um, got a sewing table. And over here we have the vinyl, which I haven't cracked open yet. Um, but there's the red perforated vinyl, and here's the black. There. So we got all kinds of goodies. Um, remember, the plan is we're going to do the seat covers in vinyl, and then possibly do them again in leather after that. But at least we'll start with the vinyl. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna get cracking here. All right, so we're gonna go at it with this Meguiar's stuff first. Um, and I think I saw in a video, you're supposed to prime the pad first by like schmoozing this stuff all over the place, which is gonna take a lot of compound apparently. It smells like cinnamon. Oh, my favorite. Smell like something? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Wasn't expecting that. It takes a lot. So we picked a spot on the hood here that we haven't really spent a lot of time working on in terms of scratches. And we'll see if this makes any difference. Hopefully it does. So it says you're supposed to do two to three 
medium pressure passes and then two to three light pressure passes. So start. There it goes. Hopefully it works. You need a fresh microfiber. You want that in the box on the floor there? Behind you. Uh, here. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Give it a try. Passes. So tear the these things off over there. Notice on Rob your crank we did this. Yeah, there you go. Yep. That doesn't look like that did very much. At all. Again, this side looks better. <laughs> Minus the scratches. A lot of scratches that way. A lot of scratches. That's weird. All right, so that doesn't look like that did hardly anything. Now the people, your friends, are recommending doing it three times, but we must have done it three times. By I don't know. The direction said to do it three times. Nobody, nobody on YouTube recommended this. Stuff. I'm just trying it. Oh, okay. But I mean, going back to the one we had before, the 3M compound one. That was three times. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying they're still saying you, the people that gave you feedback suggest do it three times anyway. Yes. All right. So this is like the fourth time. Ask them something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put more pressure this time. Yeah, I'm going to come with both angles here. So, I don't know how well this will come out here. If you can still see the scratches there. But I can't really tell any difference. Looks the same to me. Uh, so we're going to get the 3M compound out. Now I'll try that, see if that works any better. All right, so now we have the... 36060EX. I also looked at the directions on the, the website and it says. Oh, I didn't have it. Okay. Um, I thought it was running the polisher too fast because it said 1500 to 1800. I have it at 1600, so right in the middle. On this one? Yeah. Or the other one? This one. So yeah. I, have, I had this in the right place all along. Okay, good. 
So I, I was worried I was running this in too fast, but I'm not. <laughs> as I'm doing this. Oh, no. Those scratches are deep. And it's entirely possible those scratches are down in the paint. Could be. Like no amount of buffing is going to get these out. Because it's not going well here. <laughs> Still see a minute thing in there, but not that. Oh, no, that's money. Yeah. Yep, there are still some scratches in here, some really deep scratches, but it is significantly better than it was. Let's see if we can catch it on camera. It's very hard to catch this on camera, but we'll see. Get down low. I can see the scratches here. Usually if I focus on my finger, it helps. Except it won't focus on my finger. Anyway, who knows? Let's just look up here. I don't see really anything there. And as you come down, there's the scratches. All right, well, we have something that works. Okay. Good. So now all we have to do is the whole car. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? All right. Okay, so we've done the whole car with the rubbing compound. Um, didn't film it because it's just the same stuff all the time. Um, so leaves a lot of debris behind, um, as you can see. Um, we're about done for the day, so we're just going to wipe off the hood real quick here and then we're going to hit it with the number two and the number three and see how it does um, you can probably see the haze here which is i think the swirl marks from the buffer i hope um, which means the number two should take that out it looks really good already though even not having done the two and the three yet it looks super nice pops is digging the good out. news i got promoted to cop on number two yes you did well, the stuff we just use is kind of like compound 0 0.5. <laughs> this stuff definitely cuts more than the standard 39060. Um, you can definitely tell the difference between these two. So moving on from that one on to, well, we have to find number two first, but there's number three. Off we go. I saw number three, but not two. Okay, I think you can see that haze 
pretty good there. Pops has given us the shake of the number two. Like gray and black. Well, maybe. When it was new, it was probably black. Oh, okay. Okay, rag man, get a fresh microfiber. Give that a wipe, see if that did anything. Looks like it did. Which is interesting because the times in the past when we did this, couldn't really tell any difference between the one and two. It was minor, and then of course the two and the three was just nothing. Couldn't tell anything. I didn't do that part. So I'm trying to figure it out. Looks the same to me. What? Well, the Still see scratches there. Uh, yeah, we have scratches. We're not yeah. going to get rid of all the scratches. I've realized that a bunch of these scratches are just down in the paint. So somehow we missed some step somewhere. It does take some of the haste out of us. Look here, look here. Yeah, look at all those scratches. Man. Yeah, I thought it was worse. Brutal. Okay, so it gets a little haze on the edge there, but the rest of it's gone. Right. Well, all the haze here, you see the difference? Yeah. Yep. It's gone here. Here. Hold all this. right. Hold this. I'll see if the camera will catch it. Okay, so that's the after. That's the before. See all that haze there, and then here. Nada. Yeah, I can see it very clearly there. Good. All right, that's working. All right, we won't bring you along for this because it's same old, same old. All right, so can one tell the difference between the, the two and the three? Can one? Maybe. There might be just a little bit of haze in this, and this, I don't see it. And you can see that, that the, the red looks deeper here than it does here, I think. I think it shows up in the camera more than it does in person. That's good. That looks marvelous. Yeah? Beautiful. So we were just talking about this, what, three, three months of work maybe to get to this point? We really lost count. It's been a long Probably time. Probably about three months, yeah. To see this. You can see just how shiny that paint is it is pretty i would have to say so all of the little haze on the edges and stuff largely went away with the number two you can probably see a little bit here that should go away all right let's, stand, let's get out of the way i'm blocking my shot So we've only done the rubbing compound on the rest of the car, so we have to go back with the, the number two and the number three and shine it up, but boy does it look nice when it's all done. The uh, roof looks really good. Um, there are still scratches on it, as we said, and as Pops and I were saying, oddly enough, it seems like once we did the two, they came out more. This is odd. Um, but as we said, I don't think you're going to be able to see these except under bright light like this. I think in the daylight you won't be able to see that stuff. So, uh, And I think as we said, if, if we want to do anything about these scratches, what I would probably do is sand this back down to 600 or something and then shoot a few more coats of clear on it and then go from there. Um, and I don't think we're going to bother with that. So this looks good enough. I don't think we're going to complain about this. Right? Yo prometo fidelidad a la bandera de los mecánicos y la gente que trabaja muchas horas con viejo fea coches y cambia para un automóvil que es tan magnífico, hermosa y bonita.
I heard lots of work, hard work, it's beautiful. Sister, did you say? Huh? Did you say Hermana? I thought Hermana. Hermosa. Hermosa. Yeah. Not Manhattan. It's Hermosa Beach. What? Yes. what does Hermosa mean? Beautiful. Ah. I like it. Pops likes it. Yes, it's gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna call it there today. So next time all we have to do is the two and the three and then the a couple of little random parts like this and we're done. We should be able to do the two to three next weekend. Oh yeah. Finish up the three and then start. Uh, now we gotta get the doors where we can get the other stuff on. Darn the the uh, the two went really fast. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure what benefit you would gain by spending more time with it. You know, once the haze was gone, what else? You know, what else can you do? So yeah, the two and the three will go very fast. We spent a lot of time on the rubbing compound. We had to go everything two and three times to get it to lay down nice. Oh, we got to redo the trunk. The trunk has a lot of scratches in it, so we want to go back and redo that again. But... Yes, very nice. Love that oh, yeah, this... yeah, the black too. It's pretty nice. Still, it's not as shiny as I'd like, but maybe the two will fix that too. Um, and then we have our little boo-boos here. Which, so we'll come back and fix that at some other point. We don't want to deal with that right now, so. Yeah. Very good, very good. Salud. All right. Excellent. Well, good work today, sir. Yeah. You done good? Yep, we yeah. have. All right. We'll wrap it up next time, hopefully, and we can start putting this car together. We cannot wait to put the spoiler and the headlight buckets and everything on this. We've never seen it with all the parts on it painted. Yep. So that'll be exciting. A painter like this. Right. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.